hello it is another paper strip monday how exciting the the 60 plus ways that we're going to do tonight um tonight is round 11 part 134 so we're working on numbers 666 through 670 all right and that's ways to use your paper strips that are one inch or less so all of these items all of these five listed this week um will be shown throughout the week i will i have videos for each one they start monday night so the first one that i show you tonight will start tonight right after this uh, showing video okay and then the second one that i show tonight will be shown on tuesday the third one will be shown on wednesday and then thursday and then friday okay and that's how the videos go Alrighty, so whenever I show you these caption videos and the, the previews for the week, then that's what this is. This is a preview for the week to show you the five different videos that are going to be shown during the week. Alrighty, so first up tonight is called a four square, a four square star quilt or a spinning star. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Isn't that neat looking? And I have made it into a card or made one into a card for an example so you can see how you use it. I love the colors in that. That looks so pretty. All right, next up for tonight is a torn front card where you tear one third of the card away. Isn't that a neat idea? How simple. Okay, next up, so this will be Wednesday night's video, is a platypus <laughs> fractured card. And I made a background using the binding strips and then I cut the background up to make this fractured card. So rather than just use your regular your regular cardstock or decorative papers, you can use your binding strips and create a background and then cut those pieces and make a fractured card. Isn't that neat? All right. Thursday night's video will be tag word embellishments. You keep I keep getting many, many requests for word embellishments. So here's a tag for you with a word with words on it. Let your life be your art. Okay. And I've made a sample card to show how to use a word tag. Pretty simple. And then last for tonight, and this will be Friday night's video. And this is another book page card with a butterfly. So here's a book page card. And this has been another question. More book pages, more book pages. So here's another way to use a piece of a book page. Okay. And all you need is just that, that little background, that little layer, and then a one strip, one inch strip that can go behind it. Isn't that pretty? And then all of the dimensions and everything will be shown on Friday. All right. So there you go. Monday through Friday's video. So I hope you like these ideas this week. And... Hopefully you get a chance to watch them. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And if you click that notification bell, then you'll be notified of all of the videos that are put out there. Okay, sometimes I sneak sneak other ones out there. Alrighty, so I hope you like this week's share. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.